The sunlight gently spilled onto the office table, where de Tao's desk was piled up with files and photos. These were records of the stray dogs they had rescued. He was currently seeking a suitable foster home for a dog they had just saved. As he was engrossed in his work, the vibration of his mobile phone interrupted his thoughts. Picking it up, he saw the caller ID displayed Lee Dog Farm. Lee was an acquaintance from a previous rescue operation. Although De Tao disapproved of Lee's business, they maintained some contact because of their mutual involvement in rescues. Hello, De Tao? The voice of Boss Lee from the other end sounded a bit anxious. It's me, Boss Lee. What's up? De Tao replied, I've got a few dogs here that are infertile and sick. Do you guys want them? If not, I'll send them to the dog meat factory. They're really just freeloaders here. A heavy feeling settled in De Tao's heart. He knew that Boss Lee was a man driven by profit, but he hadn't expected him to be this heartless. Even though their rescue team was limited in terms of funds and energy, he couldn't just stand by and watch these dogs be sent to the meat factory. Can you give me some time? I need to discuss this with my team, De Tao tried to keep his voice steady, you have two hours. After that, my truck will be leaving. Lee replied coldly. After hanging up, De Tao's hands were still trembling slightly. He immediately gathered the core members of his team and relayed Lee's proposal. Faced with this sudden predicament, the team was silent. They had just recently rescued a group of abandoned strays, and both their finances and energy were stretched thin. Saving these few additional dogs seemed almost impossible. We can't give up on them, De Tao finally broke the silence, determination clear in his eyes. I know we're facing challenges, but we can't just watch them be sent to the meat factory. But we're already running low on resources and funds, Xiao Wang, the team's financial head, responded. If we rescue these dogs too, we might not even have enough for next month's expenses. The Tao paused for a moment, then said, I can cover the expenses for now. Once the rescue is settled, we'll fundraise. Xiao Wing looked at De Tao, gratitude evident in his eyes, and nodded, all right, I'll also try to scrape together whatever I can. After some discussion, the team decided to do their best to save the dogs. Picking up his phone again, De Tao called Boss Lee, Boss Lee, I'm coming over now. As De Tao's car entered the dog farm, he took a deep breath. The sight before him was far from what he had imagined. The pungent smell mixed with the mournful cries of the dogs felt like a different world. The environment was worse than a garbage dump. Scattered dog food, dirty water, and dog feces were all part of this hell. The dog farm was made up of several tin sheds. Each shed was packed with cages, and each cage was filled with several dogs. The dogs were squeezed together with hardly any room to move. Moreover, the dogs here looked very frail, their eyes filled with despair and longing. De Tao tried to suppress his anger and sadness. He knew he had to stay composed. He needed to quickly locate the dogs mentioned by Boss Lee and take them away as soon as possible. Boss Lee. De Tao shouted. A chubby middle-aged man appeared that was Boss Lee. Ah, De Tao. You're here, Boss Lee said with a grin, look at all the dogs I have here, De Tao nodded without saying much. He scanned the cages, trying to identify the specific dogs. After some searching, he finally found the dogs in a corner. They were kept in a rusty cage. One dog seemed to have an injured leg, while the other two looked terrified. Seeing these dogs, De Tao's heart was torn with pain. He approached the cage, gently trying to comfort the dogs, Boss Lee walked over and said, do you want these dogs? If not, they're going to the dog meat factory. Taking a deep breath and holding back his rage, De Tao replied, I'll take them. Boss Lee looked at him and laughed, then you have to pay me. Even though these dogs aren't valuable to me, I can't just give them away for free. De Tao, knowing Boss Lee's greed, pulled out the money he had prepared. This is the most I can offer. After counting the money, Boss Lee nodded with satisfaction. All right, the dogs are yours. Without further words with Boss Lee, De Tao quickly unlocked the cage and placed the dogs in his car. 
He then drove away from the revolting place. On the way back to the base, the Tao often glanced at the backseat. The dog still looked somewhat frightened, but under his reassurance, they gradually relaxed. He rolled down the windows, letting in the fresh air. The dog seemed moved by the crisp breeze, poking their heads out to enjoy the passing scenery. The journey was a stark contrast to the dog farm. Lush trees, meadows blooming with flowers, and clear streams served as a healing site for the Tao. He hoped the environment could comfort the dogs. Soon, the Tao reached the base. As the car halted, the dog seemed slightly apprehensive, probably fearing another cage. But as the Tao opened the doors and guided them into the spacious kennel, their expressions visibly relaxed. They ran and played on the grass, seemingly forgetting their past trauma. Seeing these new dogs, other team members approached. They petted it and interacted with the dogs, feeling their gentleness and friendliness. It's so heartbreaking, one member sighed. Thank you, the Tao. The Tao shook his head, it's our duty. The Tao and the other volunteers began by conducting basic checks on the new arrivals. They inspected their skin for signs of fleas or other skin issues, then proceeded to shave and bathe them. This was a lengthy process because these dogs, having been neglected for so long, were covered in dirt. Next, the Tao and the volunteers prepared meals for the dogs. Each dog was served a hearty meal consisting of fresh meat, vegetables, and dog food. Watching the dogs eat with such delight, the Tao felt a deep sense of satisfaction.